I'm hosting our industry spotlight webcast where we feature engineers working in the smart inverter industry. Our next guest is Ryan Smith, chief engineer at EPC Power. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Samantha. What other um, test conditions or test cases were important for you? We specify to our customers a maximum grid impedance of 8% and then are expected to operate down to an ideal grid impedance. That's difficult to simulate in a lab where you have a fixed grid impedance. We're able to test across the range with the hardware in the loop simulator as well as outside the range for specific customers that have a specially weak grid. How long did it take you to set up for an anti-islanding test? To run anti-islanding against the hardware in the loop simulator is literally, you know, a couple of minutes. It, it doesn't take any time. How accurate are these simulation results? In order to get the most accurate results, you want the simulation step size to be as short as possible. The Typhoon Hill is able to simulate our circuit with about a one microsecond time step. Similarly, when we had a problem with um, real hardware, we were always able to go back to the hardware in the loop simulator and recreate the problem. So it's more extensive testing as well as more efficient testing. Your experience with hardware in the loop in one word. I guess I would say I was surprised. <laughs>